Did you know that you could make thousands of dollars a month or even $1 million per year reselling sneakers online? But don't take my word for it. Cola Tyler started Dropout SRL and now makes over $1.68 million per year selling limited edition sneakers and streetwear while juggling medical school. Chris Cassidy started 513 Kicks that today makes over $5,000 a month reselling Jordans. Crazy, right? Well, according to Statista, the global sneaker market is projected to hit $80 billion in 2024 and top $100 billion by 2026. Reselling sneakers isn't rocket science, so in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to make money on the side flipping sneakers online. Now first off, how much can you make with sneaker reselling? Well, I've already shown you some examples earlier, but the truth is you can make anywhere from a couple hundred bucks to millions per year selling fresh, dead stock and used sneakers from popular brands. Now the average markup on a pair of sneakers is 30% to 50%, although some can command markups as high as 200 to 300%. In other words, you can potentially make a profit of 200 to $300 on a pair of sneakers that cost you $100. But just as a disclaimer, your exact margins will depend on factors like the rarity, demand, and condition of your sneakers. But if you're selling brand new limited edition sneakers with their original packaging, you can expect to make a couple thousand dollars a month in profit. Now here's how to get started step by step. Now the first thing you need to do is to develop a solid understanding of the sneaker business because people will try to sell you fake shoes. You need to be able to spot a real shoe from a fake one. But it's not just scammers you need to look out for, because remember, not every sneaker is worth flipping. The main rule of successful flipping is picking the right shoes and pricing them appropriately. And your ultimate goal should be to buy low and sell high. Now to get to know the market, you have to take some time to dive into sneaker culture. Stay updated on the latest releases and keep your eye on emerging trends in the industry. Now the best way to do that is to sign up for emails from sneaker sites like Hypebeast, High Snobbity, and Sneaker News, or join a Reddit community of like-minded sneaker enthusiasts. Immerse yourself in your local sneaker communities by attending sneaker conventions and getting an idea of what people are wearing and what people are talking about. Now the next step is to buy sneakers from reliable sources and you can buy sneakers from first-hand or second-hand sources. First-hand sneakers are fresh, unworn shoes that you would buy directly from the retailer or an authorized dealer, while second-hand sneakers are pre-owned sneakers that may be used or unused. Now keep in mind that the right pre-owned unused sneakers with the original pricing intact can combine a very high resale value. Now for first-hand sneakers, keep an eye open for major releases from brands like Nike and Adidas. These often occur through dedicated websites and apps like Nike's sneakers platform and Adidas's confirmed app. There are also authorized retailers that stock popular shoes like Foot Locker or eSpay, but it's best to go with lesser known sites like Mr. Porter and N Clothing to increase your odds of getting the shoes at retail. Now, if you're hardcore, you can use a sneaker bot like AIO bot to programmatically find deals online. This is where software literally goes out and finds you the best deals that you can act upon immediately. Now, if you're looking for highly sought after releases, you'll want to source inventory through an authorized retailer. Remember that hype sneakers are always in high demand. So you may be waiting in long lines outside the store before it opens in order to get your hands on the shoes that you're looking for. Now, if you go this route, not only will you be competing with hundreds of other buyers, but some stores limit customers to just one pair of limited edition releases. Now, the best way to get around this issue is by making connections with store owners who can keep you informed about upcoming release dates and help you get the sneakers you want at the retail price. Now, the third step for starting a sneaker reselling business is to evaluate the resale value of the sneakers that you want to sell. Now, there are a couple ways you can do this. First off, you can go to a website like StockX and check their pre-sale data for upcoming sneaker releases. This will allow you to gauge the prices people are willing to pay for a pair of sneakers before it officially hits the market. You can also check the historical pricing on older sneakers on StockX in addition to other key data such as the number of sales, average sale price, and volatility percentage below the pricing graph. Another way to find out the resale value of sneakers is by connecting with fellow shoe resellers and collectors. Experienced resellers usually have a good sense of what buyers want and can help you figure out whether a particular pair of sneakers is worth the investment. Remember that certain factors, such as fashion trends, celebrity endorsements, and the general popularity of certain shoe brands can affect a sneaker's resale value. For example, 
Kanye West's Yeezy sneakers enjoyed high demand and profitability until Adidas severed its ties with the controversial rapper. As a result, the Yeezy resale market experienced a huge decline in value. Now, step number four is to determine if the shoes you plan to sell are fake. And unfortunately, counterfeit shoes have become increasingly sophisticated, which makes them harder to distinguish from the real thing. So here are just some tips that will help you spot fake sneakers. So first off, if you've already purchased the shoes and you're able to examine them in person before buying, check the box they come in. Genuine boxes should display accurate labeling and tagging, while fake boxes often have brighter colors. When examining the shoe, look for crooked or uneven stitching, unfinished seams, and poor quality embroidery on the logo because these are the common signs of fakes. You can also look at the inside tag of the shoe and compare the UPC code to an authentic pair by using the GOAT app. All shoes of the same size should have matching UPCs. Also, give the sneakers a good smell. If you smell chemicals, they are probably fake. And then also check the weight. Authentic sneakers will feel lightweight and well-balanced, whereas counterfeit versions are often heavier and clunkier. If you are purchasing these shoes online and don't have the luxury of examining them in person, start by checking the price. Because remember, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. You can also ask to see detailed pictures, which you can cross-reference to the official pictures on the brand's website. Another effective trick is to watch YouTube unboxing videos for a pair of shoes you're interested in and then compare it to the pair you plan to buy. And then last but not least, only deal with sellers who can provide you with the original store receipt as proof of purchase. Step number five is to prep your shoes for sale. Before selling your shoes, always make sure that they are clean. This will help you maximize the resale value, improve buyer satisfaction, and potentially increase your rating. Focus on cleaning the entire shoe but pay particular attention to the midsoles and the outsoles as these areas are the most visibly noticeable. Granted, the cleaning process largely depends on the sneaker's material. For example, canvas and knitted materials can be cleaned using a basic soapy water solution, but leather or suede sneakers will need specialized cleaning products. You also wanna provide clear view of your shoes, including close-ups of unique features and use a plain backdrop and take images from various angles. Please note, that the image requirements will vary depending on the platform that you're selling on. For example, for Amazon, your main image should be a JPEG, PNG, TIFF, or GIF format with a 1600 pixel long side. The product should also fill 85% of the image and the file name should match the listing title. Meanwhile, if you're listing your sneakers on StockX, you don't need to provide photos because they use their own images. StockX only allows the resale of brand new sneakers and they inspect the shoes before they pay. Meanwhile, GOAT requires you to publish high quality images with good lighting, clean backgrounds, and personal information displayed in the photos. Now this brings up to step seven, which is finding places to sell your sneakers. The best place to sell sneakers is on an online marketplace like StockX or GOAT, your website, or social media. And here's how these platforms typically work. First, you create a listing. Then, when a buyer purchases a pair of sneakers, you ship the sneakers directly to the online marketplace where they will authenticate your shoes. Once the online marketplace is able to verify your item, they will ship the sneakers to the buyer. You will have to pay a commission fee, a listing fee, higher payment processing fees, and shipping fees for the services that you are on. For example, StockX charges a commission of 10%, which drops to 8% for higher value sales. They also charge a $4 shipping fee and a 3% payment processing fee. When you sell on GOAT, the commissions start at 9.5% and the seller fee starts at five bucks, depending on where you live. There's also a 2.9% payment processing fee. Now, in addition to online marketplaces, you can sell sneakers directly through social media platforms or on your own website. But while platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit are popular places to sell sneakers, your success largely depends on your own follower base and word of mouth promotion. If you're unsure where to sell your sneakers, Here's what I recommend. Start by selling your sneakers on StockX, eBay, Goat, and other online marketplaces. Then focus on building a large customer base through social media. By listing your sneakers directly on these platforms, you can minimize your commission fees as your audience grows. And then once you've built a loyal audience, then you can build a website and slowly move your sneaker business away from the online marketplaces. Now for the final step. You need to market yourself as a personal brand. Now it sounds pretty simple, but it's not that easy. 
Building a brand and gaining a strong foothold in the sneaker reselling market takes time and consistent effort. So what are some affordable marketing strategies you can focus on to build your brand? Well, social media is the most obvious one. Start posting videos of your sneakers and collaborate with influencers on platforms like Instagram and TikTok. An effective social media strategy can generate immediate interest in your products. Use your audience to create an email list. Send out newsletters, updates, and exclusive offers to keep your audience engaged and informed about your latest sneaker releases and promotions. Now that you know how to start a sneaker reselling business, here are some tips that you can follow to increase your chances of success. Now, my first piece of advice is that it's okay to start small if you're on a tight budget. This way, you can minimize risk as you gain experience selling. So for example, with a $500 budget, you can begin with popular lower price sneakers from brands like Nike and Adidas. If you buy five pairs and sell them for an average of 150 bucks each, you can make a $50 profit per pair, resulting in a $250 total profit. My second tip is to choose the right platform. If you don't have a large social media following, start selling on the big online marketplaces like StockX and Goat. You can also try selling locally on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And then when you resell your sneakers, always keep the original box, dust bag, tags, and receipt as it will significantly increase your product's value. In fact, previously worn sneakers that include these items can sell for over 30% more than if you only have the shoes itself. But the million dollar question is, is sneaker reselling worth it? Well, if you're passionate about sneakers and are ready and willing to put in the time and the effort, then starting a sneaker reselling business is 100% worth it. Just remember that it's okay to start off small and be prepared to hold onto your inventory for several months in order to maximize your profit. And remember to build a network within the sneaker community as you can find valuable deals in these circles. Follow the steps I've outlined in this video and you'll be well on your way to running a successful reselling business. Now that you know how to resell shoes online, make sure you watch this video here for other great products that you can sell online for a profit.